Hello, YouTube. It's 207 a.m. Late Sunday night, early Monday morning, depending on your perspective. Monday, August 21st, 2023. I can't believe I hung out all night over at uh, Newtown Saloon until close. So I only got to sing one song. I caught the very tail end of the of the show tunes karaoke. So I'm not sure really what does and doesn't fly as a show tune, but um, I got my Neil Patrick Harris on and sang um, a song from Dr. Horrible's Sing Along blog, which is, it's, I'm not even sure what to call that. It's, it's, it's its own thing. But if you've never seen it before, you should watch it. It's on YouTube. I'll try to post some links in the video description. It's uh, it's Neil Patrick Harris. That's what it is. And I freaking love Neil Patrick Harris. And for those who only know him as Doogie Howser, um, yeah, he was on Broadway for quite a while. And the man can sing and he's fucking amazingly talented. And Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog was uh, was kind of this three-part web musical before putting shows on the internet was really a thing. And it's absolutely brilliant. The music is really, really good. And I sang Brand New Day. Not the first time I've sang Brand New Day. But um, I haven't sang it in a long time. It's definitely the first time I've sang it at a karaoke show that's geared towards show tunes. Did anybody recognize it? I don't think so. But I ran into Kim. And um, I don't know that I've ever mentioned Kim in my vlog before. So Kim used to regularly come to different karaoke shows of mine. I think the first time I saw her was when I hosted at Nacho Mama's. And I don't know that I've even mentioned Nacho Mama's on my vlog before. That was a karaoke gig that I had a long, long time ago. Probably like a decade ago. But she's come to other karaoke shows of mine. It's not the first time I've ran into her at Newtown, but I haven't seen her in... Oh God, it's probably been two months. Anyway, she... Uh... There was some guy that was hanging out with her that the general consensus of the people at the table thought he was an asshole. I showed up like right before he left, so I can't really make a judgment on the guy everybody thought was an asshole. But at any rate, she asked me after he left when she heard he might be coming back to pretend that I was her boyfriend. And it kind of felt good pretending I was her boyfriend. Just throwing that out there. Anyway, then I got kind of more interesting after that. I only sang the one song, and the whole hang out at the table and pretend I was Kim's boyfriend happened like after karaoke ended. And it was a different KJ, by the way. It wasn't the, uh, the guy that's normally over there, whose name I can't remember. I don't even know if he's ever told me his name. Different person hosting the karaoke. She came down, sat, and hung with uh, us. At the table, like, I went to the table because Kim was there. Kim was the only person I saw that I knew, other than Zach the bartender. Zach's always cool as fuck. But after Kim left, I was just about ready to leave. And then I ran into my friend Antonio, who I hadn't seen in a little bit. But I said, hey, I don't know, I guess I saw him like a week ago. But I was hanging out with him and enjoying that they had the two dollar draft deal going on i forgot that was their sunday deal but yeah red solo cups two bucks it's practically giving away the beer yeah so i'm just chilling with antonio and and mostly just using the wi-fi like working on my vlog uploading files downloading files I, not that i finished editing anything but keeping this vlog going takes a whole lot of moving things back and forth from the cloud to get them from phone to phone. So I was doing that, and at the same time, kind of enjoying the music on the jukebox. At some point, I played a John Bellion song, and then Antonio was like, who is this? This is cool. I'm like, actually, I played this. I went through this crazy John Bellion phase, I want to say in like 2019, when I was working for Lime. 
in which I bought damn near every album he ever released on vinyl and then downloaded all the stuff that was never released on physical media. I can't believe how much of 2019 I spent listening to John Bellion. And by mid 2020, I was, I kind of burned myself out on it. But every now and then I get in this kick where I just need to listen to more John Bellion. So I used the Touch Tunes, they used the Touch Tunes app there for their jukebox. And the song Conversations with My Wife is really high on my frequently played stuff by John Bellion. And I don't even know that that's really my favorite John Bellion song, but somehow it's gotten into my touch tunes and it's always like right there available to play on touch tunes. So I find myself playing it a lot on touch tunes. Anyway, I ended up playing a whole bunch of other John Bellion stuff. And while I'm kind of on this John Bellion bender, and Tony's like, hey, that guy, he's like a movie star. And I'm like, wait, what? And I don't even know who the fuck he's talking about. And he's like, oh, that guy's a, he's a movie star. He's a movie star. And I'm like, okay. Because I want to go talk to him because he's a movie star. I'm like, okay. I have no idea who he's talking about at this point. I'm just sitting there working on, you know, uploading my video files and downloading my video files and enjoying $2 beers from Zach and um, Kim had already left at this point. And just enjoying John Bellion on the jukebox. His sound system's really good in there. And then this guy comes down and sits down next to us. He's like, hey, is it cool if I just chill with you guys? I'm like, yeah, sure. Apparently, that was the movie star. Hung out with him for about an hour and a half. He's stuck here because of Hurricane Hillary. He was supposed to be flying to LA and the plane couldn't land. He was dozing off on the plane. I guess he's from down south, like Kentucky or something. And so they was like visiting like home and he was coming back to LA dosed off on the plane, woke up, and they said they were landing in Phoenix. He's like, wait, what? So apparently Hurricane Hillary has made the weather bad enough in LA that his plane couldn't land, so he landed in Sky Harbor and Googled nearest gay bar, landed in, uh, landed in Newtown. So I don't even know the guy's name. CJ, TJ, something like that. At one point, like, there were all these people wanting to get pictures with him, and, and, it, and it felt weird and awkward, because I honestly don't know who he is, but he's like, I'm like, well, I guess I need to get one, too, which is funny, because for the most part, him and I were just sitting talking about radio and music and all kinds of stuff, and he's like, well, I guess I need to get one, too, and at that point, I went and got my iPhone off the charger, he's like, your phone's awful, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is, it's old, like me. Although he told me I look amazing for 53, so I, I'm, that, that felt good. I wish I knew who he was, but I'm, I'm on my way inside to uh, feed the cats and figure out who this movie star is I've been hanging out with for the last hour and a half.